Hey guys, it's me, Kezia Noble, leading female dating and attraction expert for men. And today in this video, I'll be sharing with you the three major benefits you will get from using validation in your interactions with women. Using validation is something that you should always implement into your interactions with women that you're attracted to, and you will generate three major benefits from doing this. But first, here is a very brief summary of what positive validation is in this context. Positive validation is showing your approval in what the woman has said or done, or in the way she has behaved. It's important to mention here that positive validation is not the same as paying a woman a compliment. Example, let's say she's wearing a really nice dress. A compliment would be, hey, I really like that dress you're wearing, it really suits you. Whereas validation would be more on the lines of, great dress, I always like a woman who knows how to style herself. Or, that dress looks great, I like the fact you dress well, most women don't have a clue. As you can see by those examples, validation is more of an approval than a compliment is. By clearly drawing that line between her and other women, you demonstrate to her that you know what you like and you know what you don't like. And as a result, this elevates your authority and increases your value. Now, compliments do have their uses. I did a video about this recently and I'll put a link below this video. For instance, compliments are very good for sexual escalation, for showing intent. So they do have their place, but it's the way you compliment that's essential. So check out that video if you want to know the 10 best ways to compliment a woman. So let's go through the benefits. Benefit one, by implementing positive validation, you automatically raise your value. Positive validation communicates that you're someone who has a certain level of standards, a criteria of what you want and expectation. You're sending a message that you're not like the other guys who are easily impressed. And instead, you're a little more choosy and you know what you like and you know what turns you on. This is really important. A man who knows what he wants and is unapologetic for it is a huge attraction trigger for women. Benefit two, she will be more likely to see you as the chooser, which is very important because you want to shift that power dynamic in your favor as soon as possible. Positive validation comes from a place of certainty, where as a compliment can sometimes come across a little needy, whereby you're trying to flatter her so she can like you more. Positive validation is still flattering and makes the woman feel good about herself, but because you're essentially telling her that she's passed a test or ticked a box, she will appreciate it more because she will see you as someone who has options and is choosing who he wants. Unlike a lot of other men she's probably met who are just looking for availability and compliance. Benefit three, you can fuck with her mind a bit more. Once you've installed positive validation, you can then start using disappointment techniques. This is something that we teach our students to use and they are extremely powerful. But here's the thing, they can only be implemented once positive validation has done its job. And here's why. If you've used positive validation, she will be more invested in you and the interaction. She will see you as a man who knows what he wants, a man who has more discerning taste than other guys, and has separated her from the women who failed to make a good impression on him. So once that has been established, you can then start adding the disappointment tactics. This works very well when the woman becomes too complacent and thinks that she doesn't need to try and impress you anymore. Example, you ask her, you know, what do you like to do for fun? And she says something such as, yeah, I like going to clubs and bars and getting totally wasted. And you just respond with, oh really? And so there's a shift there. There's a shift in your attitude towards her. She might say, well, yeah, what's wrong? And then you can say, you know what? I don't know why, I just thought that you were just someone more cultured and you know, I, just, I, I just pictured you to be someone, how do I put it, just a bit more cultured, you know, you, you look like you look after yourself, I didn't expect that you were going out and getting wasted on a Saturday night. Now, this has to really be done correctly. You have to make it seem that you don't want to discuss your disappointment, like you're actually trying to hide you're trying to camouflage your disappointment. Like you don't wanna offend her. And that makes it a lot more genuine, but it also is less likely to trigger 
a hostile or over defensive response. She will then proceed to try to explain herself to you, to win back your approval, to essentially qualify herself. So she might say, oh, you know, I like doing stuff like that too. In fact, you know what? I don't even get that wasted. So I don't know why I said that. Now let's take it up a notch. Let's say she says something which is a bit bitchy. You know, it was, it was something uncalled for. She's either testing you out or she's just become complacent. How do you respond? Again, you want to use the disappointment tactic. Remember, don't look hurt. Don't look sad. Don't look angry. Look disappointed. So she says something and just respond by kind of being just a little bit surprised. Smile. Look kind of like mm, confused. And then she might say, what? What is it? Did I say something? Again. You want to disguise. You want to look like you're disguising your disappointment. That's the key here, remember? I don't know, you just seemed like a really lovely person. And for me, it's like, kindness is like the most attractive quality in somebody. But look, doesn't matter. Anyway, and proceed to change the topic. That's important, okay? You want to look like that you don't want to bring this up with her, but she knows very clearly something's changed. There's like a hairline shift that's happened, that's taken place, where you do not look at her the same way anymore, but it's very, very subtle. And if you do this correctly, watch her qualify herself. Watch her readjust her behavior and say to you something like, you know, I was only joking. I was just kidding. Now, the reason why you need to use positive validation first is because you need to be the one who builds up her confidence. You need to be the one who builds her up in order to bring her down. And many guys get this part wrong, where they start trying to get her to qualify herself first. And as a result, the woman just ends up thinking, this guy's a dick. These guys think that attacking her value will enhance their value. But that can never work unless she gives a shit what you think in the first place. Now, I wanna make it very clear here. Disappointment tactics should only be used when the woman is becoming complacent and taking you for granted. Now, let me make it very clear here. Disappointment tactics should only be used when the woman is becoming complacent or taking you for granted or showing you behavior traits that you really don't like. It's not a punishment. It's behavioral readjustment. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, if you want to start getting real results with women, then check out my website, kezia-noble.com. You'll find more information about our programs there. We have the online training acceleration program, which you can do from the comfort of your own home. We also have the seven day mastery program here in London. You can also find out more about my online training products and eBooks. If you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Take care.